Hey everyone, this week I thought we'd take a look at what's been going on in Asia, because whilst many would equate the Brecon and Radmanshire by-election as something monumental, pivotal, prophesied in the end times, it says a lot when the Liberal Democrats consider it an achievement to retake one of their long-held seats from an incumbent criminal. It's like boasting about putting on weight, or writing in your CV that your key skills involve knowing how to dance the Macarena. In contrast, the Far East, however, saw a couple of genuinely important developments this week. President Trump decided to ratchet up the trade war with another 10% tariff on another $300 billion of Chinese products, everything from smartphones to those golden cat toys that wave at you out the window. This is the latest in a series of these moves, and the Chinese find it increasingly hard to retaliate, seeing as how the bulk of the American goods purchased in China are counterfeit goods that were manufactured in China. What they might do, however, is start getting more aggressive in the South Sea and a lot less helpful with North Korea. Which brings us on to the next story in which North Korea performed a number of rocket tests. In a strange twist, France and Germany called on North Korea to engage in meaningful talks with the US, presumably a comment designed purely to enrage the British. Hashtag irony, hashtag Brexit. And so we once more go down the route of North Korea wondering whether the only way to get attention in the world is to threaten to kill everyone, and whether Kim Jong-un sees himself as a nation's father figure or just an angsty teenager. Although by quote father figure, he could just be referring to his expanding waistline. Russia too is in on a rocketry game though, the US just pulled out of a non-proliferation treaty, possibly because it's difficult to pronounce, possibly due to Russia's flagrant disregard for it. It's unclear of course whether the US will go from here. Unlike the last time around, there's a world shortage of German rocket scientists especially keen to move overseas. Finally, the other story which I thought would get more attention is that Japan is back at the whale hunting game. I don't know whether that means that the next Star Trek remake will be a modern version of that one where Kirk and Spock go back in time to rescue a whale, uh, but certainly I thought it would be getting a lot more coverage than it has of late, given the whole environmental outrage stuff. A question I have though is, if whales are so intelligent, why do they swim near Japan in the first place? Common sense, whales. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.